Yeah, the first work, which is called I Just Don't Believe in Ceramics, is actually about the exact opposite. It's meant to extend our belief in ceramics as a, more of a way of thinking rather than just a media-based activity. Well, the process for making this work was uh, quite long. I mean, first of all, I spent three months researching and learning the software that I was going to use. I then uh, made several animations, kind of vector-based animations using Flash. And when I had enough of these animations, I grouped them together in After Effects as a way of being able to layer the films and also have them playing at the same time. So I could have six movies playing in the same channel at one time. And I then created a mask to block out the bits of the movie that I didn't want so that they would just project onto the plates and give the illusion of a moving image on a plate. Yeah, the only clay in this piece of work is the ceramic plates which the animations are projected onto. But it's quite an important aspect of the work because I think in, in the way that we relate to printed or painted designs on ceramics has a kind of, um, I think we're quite in, entwined with that and it has a kind of emotional connection for us, you know, in objects and cups and plates that we grew up with or used at certain times. Yeah, the title of the work, I Just Don't Believe in Ceramics, is uh, derived from what a potter, a potter once said to me, that he didn't really believe in art. And I found this a really curious thing to say, to, a kind of curious kind of disbelief, to, to not believe in something that's tangible and all around us. So in, in this work, which is to kind of stretch our, our belief in what we think of as ceramics. But as well as that, it's also kind of questioning my role in the making of the work because after all, it, it's, um, it's an algorithm that's making the pattern. It's not me. My own, only role, at the end of the work, my only role is to believe in the, in the work, which kind of is, I think that's hard for people who work in a me media-based art form to accept a lesser role by having a work made by a machine basically or an equation. The second work is called What Are You Laughing At? It's a stop frame animation or a claymation and it's basically a creation myth which is a, a premise in many belief, uh, belief systems around the world um, but in my film, the creation myth has been rationalized to take into account um, the kind of post-industrial phase that we're going through now with uh, the world on the brink of nuclear meltdown and environmental catastrophe. So the, the two figures, once they're formed and they're put in, in the kiln, Instead of getting fired and going hard, they become angry with one another and box each other and seem to melt and dance into oblivion. Yeah, the process for making this work, I set up my camera on the tripod in the studio and set it to take a photograph every minute and then began constructing the figures just before each minute I stepped out of the frame and the camera took the photograph. Um, I then did this, it took a month to take all the photographs uh, and then I put the thousands of photographs into Windows Movie Maker and made the individual scenes which are then edited together to make the film to give the illusion of the figures making themselves. Uh, I then commissioned a Scottish composer called Gordon Cameron to make, a, to make a bit of music that would fit with the movement and the atmosphere of the film and edited it 